Let's talk about the importance of good cabling. There are two different kinds of cables in your audio system. Cables that carry electrical power and cables that carry analog audio or digital audio signals. Of the two, the most dangerous are the power cables. If you see any power cables that are frayed or you can see inside the cable, replace them. If they are in use, carefully unplug the cable from the AC outlet, only touching the plastic section of the plug and replace the cable immediately. When an electrical system is grounded, current is guided along a pathway safely to ground so that it doesn't make contact with people and sensitive electronic equipment. Sometimes there are other things like lighting and air conditioning equipment in the building that may be sharing the same electrical circuits with the sound system that can generate noise in the sound system. If you can switch to other outlets in the building, it may solve your noise issue. However, if you need to remove or lift grounds in your sound system, the signal cables are the safe place to do this. Use these signal ground lift adapters. If you're using DI boxes, they often have a ground lift switch to do the same thing. Let's talk about cables that carry audio signals. One thing to be very aware of is, if you don't follow the electrical rules we talked about and provide a safe path to ground, your audio cables will try to get rid of this current, possibly causing a shock hazard for your talent. Stick with name brand cabling to assure the best in sound quality as well. Bad cables on microphones and instruments can cause clicks, pops, buzzing, or intermittently not work at all. If you're walking across your stage, and pick up or move a cable that starts to hum, click or buzz, stop right there. Find the bad cable and replace it immediately. It's always better to find these out during rehearsal or sound check than on Sunday morning in front of the whole congregation. Oh, and by the way, make sure you have a few extra cables handy. They do wear out. 